go now to Rome. So the Minnesota Fighting Vikings drafted J.J. McCarthy, number 10, uh, overall in the 2024 NFL Draft as the future franchise guy, the savior, uh, and the guy who's going to hook up J.J. to J.J. and also J.J. to Addison and J.J. to Hawkinson, Sons of Anarchy, for many, many years to come. And just having, finally, that beautiful homegrown quarterback for the next 10 to 15 years. He's plucky. All he does is win. He's got the physical tools, uh, super young, and wants to get after it and is a sponge and wants to learn and grow and show and all that stuff. But, uh, of course, the talking point uh, is the quarterback competition between Sling and Sam Darnold, uh, the free agent the Vikings brought in, former number three overall pick in 2018, $10 million deal. Hasn't worked out with the Jets, didn't work out with Carolina. Last year was a backup with the Niners, uh, but now he could potentially be the bridge quarterback to J.J. McCarthy. But, oh, yeah. Nick Mullins uh, has been the Vikings QB, too, uh, throughout the first two weeks of OTAs as we uh, sprint towards mandatory minicamp this week. So, J.J. McCarthy's working with the threes, and it's not uncommon. Like, uh, unless you're the crooked Chicago Bears and just hand Caleb Williams everything. Hmm. I mean, rookie quarterbacks are going to start out a- as backups. They have to earn their stripes. And also, there's going to be a ton of movement at OTAs. I mean, training camp is, one, is where, you know, the cream starts to rise a little bit. But what's interesting is that... QB3 where is where McCarthy could remain for the start of the season. Purple Persuasion put this together. Andrew Kramer on Access Vikings, a Star Tribune podcast. Uh, he thinks it wouldn't be a shock if a Vikings quarterback Jay, Jay McCarthy starts as QB3 to start the season. Uh, quote, McCown saw that and O'Connell saw that multiple places in his career. So I think, yeah, in, in terms of uh, high draft picks starting off on the bench, uh, I think all these things are pointing to it wouldn't be a shock if uh, we're getting to week one in McCarthy and McCarthy's QB3. Now, if that happens immediately, Vikings fans are like, boo, boo, he's a bust, boo. He obviously can't beat out Nick Mullins, boo, boo. But no, nah, nah, there, there's a lot of factors uh, that, that would go into this. Number one, so everything's going to be stacked up against McCarthy because the plan is to have him sit. And uh, and McCarthy certainly would benefit uh, from a redshirt season. Uh, they're working on his mechanics, some of the soft skills, lear- learning the entire playbook. Uh, and, I mean, they're not watering anything down. Like Kevin O'Connell and, uh, and Luke McCown. Not Luke McCown, Josh McCown. Uh, well, Luke McCown, too. I'm sure that he's on the phone. Hey, JJ, you suck. Uh, they're, they're throwing everything at him. Like, this is not going to be a, a diet quarterback, rookie quarterback playbook. Everything in the playbook that Darnold and Mullins is responsible for, and even Kirk Cousins last year was responsible for, is going to be on JJ McCarthy's shoulders. Also, I feel like he wants that. Also, other quarterbacks would need to falter sufficiently for him to move up because everything's going to be stacked against him. Like, ties will go to the veteran. Even non-ties will go to the veteran. Like, McCarthy just has to be complete nails uh, in training camp and preseason for him to start a week one. I think he's a pretty significant underdog. And also, Darnold, who, I mean, they they have invested in, uh, as well as Nick Mullins would have to just fall on their ass, basically for McCarthy to lap them. And McCarthy would have to be almost perfect as Kevin O'Connell says that there is your know, daily checklists and, and a step-by-step progression to get him on the field and they're not going to put him out there until he's 100% good to go plus I mean the plan could be to sit him no matter what I mean he could come in looking like prime CJ Stroud now well actually if they if he looks like CJ Stroud in his rookie year I think they'll have to play him no matter what but the plan could be as part of the progression just sit and remember I mean Patrick Mahomes sat for a year behind uh behind Alex Smith who's also the number 10 overall pick, by the way. Mm, no big deal. And also the Chiefs did trade up to 10. Ah. Uh, but also, I, uh, it would require the Vikings to have three quarterbacks on the 53-man rooster because if McCarthy is quarterback three, it can't be a spot where Mullins is on the practice squad and then you have him as your emergency quarterback on game day because you have to go through uh, the top two to get to three. So that's a non-starter. And also, like I said, the team is at best in Sam Darnold, too. You know, they clearly see a little something-something him uh, as a backup to Brock Purdy last year, getting some really good coaching, getting some really good experience in a very similar uh, offensive system from the quarterback standpoint. I mean, th- that does make sense. Also, you know, Kevin Con- Connell clearly has faith in Nick Mullins, and Mullins has been here longer than any other quarterbacks. He has been on the Minnesota Vikings for every single regular season and playoff game under the Kevin O'Connell regime. Remember the Vikings? So so the Vikings, you know, tried out the Kellen Mond experiment. Uh, and then uh, they traded for Mullins right before the start of the 2022 season to back up Kurt Cousins. Uh, and he's been here ever since. And also last year, just taking over. Look at me. 
Look at me. I, I'm the QB one now. All right. And even though I, I love me the Mormon missile, I don't know. But it, when Mullins was in last year, you could tell like efficiently he could move the off ball. Maybe not efficiently, but he could move the ball downfield. He could get the ball to Justin Jefferson uh, without putting him in a hospital ball situation. And Mullins can have some big time throws. He can also have some very poopy throws and also make some big time mistakes. Like he is a gunslinger back there, uh, but he knows the full playbook. Uh, he is a veteran, and you know Kevin O'Connor clearly trusts him uh, as well. So, uh, and also the you know, Kevin O'Connor clearly has a plan for McCarthy. Like we said, step by step, day by day, and. I don't know. Like this is, this is what uh, a great privilege for the Vikings is that they don't have to rush the rookie quarterback out, out onto the field before he's ready. Uh, the Vikings are not the Chicago Bears with Caleb Williams. They are not the Commies with Jaden Daniels. They are not the Patriots with Drake May. All of those guys are going to have to start right away. And you know, with McCarthy, it's not like he couldn't start, uh, but uh, O'Connell and McCown and Phillips are like they're they're very cognizant of don't give him, don't put too much on his plate before he's ready to eat, right? How do you eat an elephant one bite at a time? But if you try to eat the elephant in one bite, you're going to die. That's what happens, man. So I think they're very aware because they're concerned about McCarthy two years from now, five years from now, 10 years from now, 15 years from now with the Vikings as opposed to instant gratification, uh, gra in instant gratification year one. Nailed it. I, I combined satisfaction and uh, gratification gratisfaction i feel like that should be something anyways but like i said e even if he does start the season as quarterback three like i i know that people are, are going to be pissed off and, and freak out and be like he's a bust boo no but it's all a part of the plan finally have adults coaching it's good to see it's good to see man but uh your thoughts on our thoughts uh jj mccarthy could potentially uh, start the season as QB3, according to the Star Tribune. Uh, let us know your thoughts and our thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Once worth the work, put a little something in the Venmo. But to next time, Skull Production Value.